Hey everybody, welcome back to Just Plain Chris's Workshop. Today we're going to talk about rotor flight and ethos again. Um, RC Video Reviews did a video showing how to set up adjusting the PIDs using your trim switches on a radio rather than having to go into a Lua script and update. Not that there's anything wrong with the Lua scripts. I showed you in the last video how amazing Rob's rotor flight Lua script is. And it's still amazing. Connected. Um, this is actually powered on. I've got the Oxy4 plugged in over here. So receiver's running. It's connected. Uh, just want to say Express LRS is pretty freaking amazing. I really like the connected feel it gives me with this helicopter. It's flying amazing. And it flies great whether I use this radio or the little jumper T15. In some ways, I almost like this better because it's so light, I don't even need a neck strap, and it's got these great finger spots on the back. Um, had a flight just at sunset yesterday, right before our night fly, with this radio, and I'm, I'm blown away, especially by how cheap it is. But today we're talking about setting up the trim switches to adjust PIDs, which of course you can do on this. Uh, in fact, the RC Video Reviews guy has a downloadable zip file with all of the sound files, which I'm actually using on here, as well as the adjustments that you need to set up in uh, rotor flight. And you can just load those via the CLI. I did it manually on mine just because I wanted to learn how to do it, which took a little while, but it's not difficult. It worked fine. Got a glare there. Okay, so onward to how to do it in uh, ethos. It's a little bit different and I will show you in here. So you, very similar to Edge TX, you need two entries in your uh, mixer screen. I called this one Enable PIDs because this is what it does and it uses a source of a VAR called sixth position, which we'll look at in a minute. Operation is replace, weight is 100, and you can see right now that I've been playing with it. This... PID adjustments disabled. You can watch the output here. Ooh, focus. So when it's disabled, it's at minus 100, and then... Proportional. Proportional. Integral. And... Derivative. Feed forward. Boost. And those are being output to channel 10, which I also called enable PIDs. The other one is, actually there's a bunch of mixes in here. I forgot about that. So that's the sixth position. And then you have the individual lines, just like in Edge TX, for your roll plus, roll minus, pitch plus, pitch minus, and yaw plus, yaw minus. And those are activated with the trim switches. You'll see it go. Row plus. Row minus. Go active when I click. Pitch them. plus. Pitch minus. And then yaw plus. Your plus. Your yaw minus. minus. Your minus. And you can see. Plus. Well, you might not be able to see. We'll go to the output screen, and you can see what it's doing. So channel ten is the enable function. So you can see it. adjustments disabled. That's when it's disabled. And then there's proportional. Integral. Derivative. Feed forward. Boost. All right. And then channel 11 is the actual PID value that's being sent. So this is your roll plus. Roll plus. Roll, roll minus. minus. Pitch plus. Pitch minus. Your plus. Your minus. The important thing is that each of these trims sends a different value. So if we go back to our mixer and just look at the roll plus, for example, the active condition is trim right hand right, which is the aileron trim. And you use an offset, not a value. So the offset is set to minus 80. And it's being output to channel 11. So when you hit it, 
Rare you can plus. see that it's doing an offset to minus 80. And when you let it go, it's outputting nothing. And it's the same on all the others. And in the video that I'll have a link in the description for the HTX setup, he goes over the values that are being sent. And I just you know, made some notes when I was watching the video and set it up pretty much like this. So the only other thing that's a little bit different than HTX is you actually set up a var for the six, to activate the six position switch, whereas in HTX, that line in the mixer where I have it assigned to the var, you just assign that line in the mixer to the six position. So it just works a little bit different in Ethos. So I created this var, named it six position, the range is minus 100 to plus 100. The first value line is minus 100, and then you just add another line. It's activated by function switch one. It's minus 100, that's where it's disabling. And then function switch two is P, sends minus 60. I sends minus 20. You just increment these by 40 until you're back at 100 for switch six. And then basically you're using that as your source in the mixer where we assigned the um, enable the PIDs. So that var there is the source. Makes sense. If you've, if you've ever used HTX, this will make sense. If you're kind of new to Ethos, maybe a little complicated, but you can see it there. And now, the way it works, let's get out of here and let's actually go back into the Lua script, connect to the helicopter. Connected. And let's go to our PIDs. And I believe we are currently, yeah, we're in rate one, or flight mode one. So you can see that I have, let's just do, um, PID adjustments disabled. Let's do P adjustment. Proportional. Proportional. And you can see that my roll is currently set to 115. Well, if I bump this to the right, i am got it set to increment in units of five. So if I click this once. Roll plus. And then reload the page. You can see that it has changed the roll p-value to 120. And if I go down here and set the i, integral. the integral, and let's increment the roll i once, so it should go to 130. Roll plus. We'll reload the page. And it's now at 130. Roll minus. And then we're going to put it back. Proportional. Roll minus. And then we'll reload the page. And there we go, we're back to the way it was. Actually, I need to go, yeah, that's where it was. So that's it. I mean, it works basically the same exact way as it does in HTX, but that's how you do it in Ethos if you wanna set that up. I don't know PID adjustments to say how much I will be using it. I did actually use it last night at the field, but I didn't have any of my sounds set up yet, so I was just, trying to remember which one I had set up and I actually got it right. So it's pretty cool and I, I think it'll be useful. Unfortunately, there's no way to package this up and save it like they did for the HTX one. So you'll have to set it up yourself if you're running Ethos, but it didn't take very long. And, you know, go ahead and get the zip file for the HTX one and you can use all the sounds and you can use the uh, the settings, the adjustments here, uh, which is great. That'll save you a lot of time. But it's very cool. It works great. Go watch that video. Use that. Use this. And I hope that helps and gets you tuning quicker in rotor flight. Catch you in the next one.